Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics, a place where you can improve your understanding of physics with confidence. In this video, we will explore two different situations and those two situations are really interesting and practical. One situation is about next time question from the previous video. That question I assigned you last time to do first by yourself and if you are curious about the solution of that question, so you will find solution in this video. And then we will go to an other situation uh, for that given situation we will plot velocity time graph for an accelerating object. So this video will help you to understand motion better and also it will give you super clear understanding. Here is next time question from previous video. First of all, let me explain to you what question is asking you and then we will draw a displacement time graph. And this question is really practical and it will help you to clear a lot of doubts and misunderstandings about displacement time graph. So first of all, let's try to understand what question is telling us. Uh, what is given in the question so the first thing it is given to us that the speed is constant so this is very important what we need to understand the second thing it is also given to us every 100 meters they walk forward means for 100 meters they walk forward and then again you can see here uh, 50 meters after dropping after dropping means after 100 meters they drop a piece of bread and then they continue 50 meters forward and then move backward so how we can sketch this so you can read this question by yourself and this is the main summary what i have told you here so let me help you to sketch this one this given situation in physics it is very important sketch what is given to you the physical situation is given to you first of all sketch so you can see that what is happening so let me help you to sketch this one what is happening here so first of all it is given to us they walk 100 meters forward so after walking 100 meters forward uh, they drop a piece of bread, but they continue moving forward for another 50 meters. Then after walking 50 meters forward, they walk backward for 50 meters again. And then walking back for 50 meters, they again start moving forward 500 meters they drop again piece of bread and then still they continue moving forward for 50 meters and again after walking 50 meters they start walking backwards start walking backward for 50 meters again and then again they start moving forward for 100 meters and drop again piece of bread and after dropping piece of bread they continue moving forward for 50 meters and again walk backward for 50 meters and then again continue moving forward for 100 meters 400 meters and again you can see continue moving for 50 meters and then walk back again for 50 meters so how many pieces of bread they have dropped so first piece of bread they drop here at this point at this point the first piece of bread they drop here the second piece of bread they drop here and the third one piece of bread they drop here so this is piece of Bread. at this point again so you can see four pieces of bread they drop now this is the situation this is what is happening I hope now you have very clear a uh, super clear understanding about question now how we can sketch this so one thing before we sketch you need to understand 
time is unidirectional time is one directional so this is very important often students get confused even they understand time is one directional but when they do this type of question they often get confused time is one direction uh, directional it means time just go forward time only go forward so this is very important you have to keep this in your mind now let's try to sketch now so here you can see we have sketched this graph i have already sketched for you so let me highlight some important points so this distance uh this was actually 150 if you remember from the previous one this is 150 meters so this is 150 and from here we can also get uh, from here so this is 250 and this one is 350 so let me write down for you so this is 150 and this is 250 and this one is 350 so after walking 150 meters they move backward so this means they go backward but still you see forward in time so this process continue and this is how we can sketch over displacement time graph i hope it is clear to you if it is still not clear to you uh, you can just leave your question in uh, the comment section and I will answer you as soon as possible let's move on to next one now so now displacement time graph is given to us now uh, we need to sketch velocity time graph so the, here is our question so we need to uh, sketch velocity time graph this is what you need to sketch you need to sketch velocity time graph and the displacement time graph is given to us so we need to understand the gradient of displacement time graph a uh, gradient of displaced displacement time graph so simply a uh, gradient of displacement time a uh, dt graph often we say a uh, gradient of displacement time graph this is equal to velocity this is equal to velocity so now you can see here velocity here uh, the gradient first of all the gradient of this line is positive how about gradient of this line negative gradient here positive gradient here negative gradient here uh, gradient here negative gradient of this line positive gradient of this line negative this line positive so this is and the speed is constant as the slope is constant so speed it was given to us in the previous part that speed is constant it means velocity is constant and that velocity was uh, four meters per second so that was four meters per second so I mean four meters forward four meters backward velocity is positive velocity is negative so this is how we need to sketch so here is our final answer so you can see here now uh, velocity is positive so this is velocity positive so this is 4 meters per second uh, this is positive this is 4 meters positive and here minus 4 meters so that's all this is how we need to sketch let's move on to next one and here is another situation for you uh, for this situation you need to understand First of all, a car is traveling at 25 meters per second. So this is 25 meters per second. 25 meters per second. And it decelerates at mean the speed decreases by 5 meters per second per second. In one second, speed decreases by 5 meters. So I can also simply sketch here. Uh, after one second, after one second speed will decrease by five so speed will be 20 meters and again after five meters speed will again decrease by 
uh, 5 meters per second speed will be 15 meters per second and again it will decrease by 5 meters per second so we have minus 5 this become 10 and again after 1 second it will decrease by 5 meters per second minus 5 this will be 5 and again it will decrease by 5 meters one second so it will decrease by minus 5 meters per second means uh, it will be 0 meters per second so this is state 1 uh, we can say this one is state 1 and the state 2 simply stay at rest mean the velocity of the object is 0 and this is second state and for 10 seconds we can also write down for 10 seconds now uh, what is happening in the third state so I will write down here third state for you so let's say what is happening in third stage third state accelerate at 2 meters per second means its velocity is zero it started from rest now after one second its velocity now gonna increase plus two means big after one second two meters per second then again after one second it will be increasing by two it will be four and so on so this is what you need to understand now how we can sketch the velocity time graph for this one so here is our velocity time graph so this is how we can sketch so you can see how many second one second it took one second again one second two three four uh, five second you see it took five second so velocity decreases from 25 to 0 in 5 seconds so for 10 seconds it stay at rest so for 10 seconds it stay at rest and then speed increases by 2 meters per second per second so it took about 12.5 seconds okay so 12.5 seconds so if we want to find time here so this time will be 27.5 and so this will be 27.5 seconds.